Hello everyone, and we're back again. I'm here with actually two dental assistants. One is actually helping me with today's case. The other one's in the chair. And I just wanted to show you how we place this lining material, okay? We just mixed it on a pad. It's uh, Vitrabond, and they do come in a a dispenser now and I wanted this to make sure you saw that we were putting that liner in and it is light curable so we're going to do that next but this is what it looks like and 3M is the company Vitrabon Plus and it's a light cure glass ionomer liner base uh, terrific stuff to use you just uh, you know, you just undo this clip right here. You got two barrels. You squeeze that out, and then you mix it by hand, and off you're running. So, base catalyst, simple. The old method, you had to take out a powder and mix it by hand. I didn't like that. So now we're going to cure this. So up goes the the filter for the light. I usually will cure these two with our light for about 20 seconds each. About 20 seconds each. Now we may fill in some of these voids with some core paste material, which is another product that I like to use. It's core paste from Denmark Corporation. Um, that'll give us a much more uniform much more uniform surface so that we can uh, transfer that detail to our laboratory. Suction please. All right. So I'm going to go right into that. We're going to use our etch now we have the etch material, blue etch, it's right there, yep, okay, and we'll start off on the enamel, all the way around, come right in here on a denton, all the way around. Right in here on the denton. Now we talked before about the carbon dioxide bubbles. Could you just uh, hold this for a second? Thank you. I'm going to just up the light and we can focus in on the bubbles. And you can see them. That's denton now getting a chemical reaction with denton. All right, and we're just about ready to rinse that off. So suction back on again. And we'll just start rinsing. So go all the way in the back. Uh -huh. Now, we'll chelate the surface. Even though we're etching it with phosphoric acid, we still want to chelate. We want those dentinal tubules to get unclogged and... Uh, that material that you see, that yellow material, that is dentin for all you non-dentists out there. And we're going to use a product called Tubulacid. And uh, this is perfect for unclogging tubules. We just take a sterile brush, Bendex brush, dip it in the top one time. Cut that little hole in the top of the bottle so we don't have to put it in a pre-comp syringe. And I'm just going to literally just dab the material on the dentin. It really does nothing to the enamel, but the dentin is what we want to condition. So the dentin is conditioned. Now we're going to go ahead and use a product called Albon 3. And Albon 3, we're going to go ahead and mix two to three drops of each uh, for the dentin primer. So I need a fresh brush. Two, three. I'll put that aside. 
That was the part A and part B. And make sure that's on tight. Oh, we got a nice brush. We're going to mix. And we're going to lower our light so we don't get any premature bonding. Now you're going to bring over your suction tip. Okay. Andrea's uh, new with me here. We're, she's just filling in, helping out while Maria gets work done. Uh, so I'm kind of dictating the process. So we're going to put several coats of this on the dentin. And that'll seal the dentin up, prevent any post-operative sensitivities. Very important. If you've got a new restoration and you're sensitive with it, that might be because there wasn't enough sealer placed. It could be a number of things. It could be that your bite is not right. It could be that uh, they didn't pay enough attention to, uh, uh, you know, the sealing of the dentin itself. So, okay, suction, please. All right. Okay. Now, I'm going to let you just suction back there for now. Stay right back there. And I'm going to get the next step ready. Mm -hmm. and just stay back there again. Just keep the moisture. And a new brush. Yeah, suction back there again. Great. Okay. Now, the next step is to place the bonding agent. And we need to do that. And that goes down next. So primer first, then bonding agent. This really slams the door on any sensitivity issues. Um, I like to use a, pre a uh, syringe that has absolutely no water going to it. We designate this one as just air only. And all I'm doing is just thinning it down, thinning it down so it doesn't get too thick. Just stay right there now. And uh, we mark the uh, this particular air water syringe to, uh, we know it's designated air only, push both buttons and no water comes out. All right, we're going to light cure that, add our composite, stay right in there. All right, looking good. Nothing like working under a rubber dam. Or working above a rubber dam. <laughs> Patients are below the rubber dam. And again, I'm going to cure these for 20 seconds each. And you guys out there that are dentists, I mean, sometimes you can actually see if you've got any residual decay by shining a, a very high intense light through the tooth. You can see if they're still compromised. And I have never hesitated to go back in there and remove more decay if I saw it while I was using the bonding light. All right, we're going to spend a little time mixing our our next uh, layer of dental material called core paste. And uh, let's see if we can pick you up on our next segment. I hope you're enjoying this It's uh, as much as we are. And uh, again, Dr. Jerry Cuomo here in Boca Raton working diligently on his dental assistant and making sure that we get these restorations in our mouth soon. Take care. See you next time.